Hello everybody. So today what we're going to do is a baseball themed bracelet. It's going to be the white single Genoese uh, bracelet and then we're going to do some like kind of red stitching along the edges. But this here is the single Genoese and uh, we're basically going to do this in all white and then we're going to use the fids and kind of uh, thread it through these little holes on the side. Turns out good, looks just like, not just like, but it looks similar to a baseball thread or softball thread. I've already got uh, my paracord here, I've got about 12 feet of white continuous and I've already done the uh, half hitch on one side so we're just going to flip that over, pull the paracord through my fingers so that we get rid of all the twists and then flip the buckle back over and from the bottom we go up through. And I already flattened the ends of the paracord, heated them, heat them up with a lighter, use a pair of pliers, and you can squish those down. It gives you a real nice flat edge to get through the buckle a lot easier. And let's see here. So I'm going go to I'm gonna go about this long, I think. So what you want to do is you want to get to this point where You've got one white cord coming off to the right and one white cord coming off to the left. And that looks about right. So what we want to do first is we want to do just a basic, um, I can't remember what kind of knot, I believe it's an overhand knot, but you're going to do it around the two inner, inner strands. So what you're going to do is create a loop with your finger over here on the right side take it across the two center strands and then go around the back and through that loop and then tighten that on up to the buckle now when you get this tightened you want to double check your length just to make sure because once you go past this part there really is no turning back unless you want to undo the whole thing alright and that's all you're going to do each time so now you're going to do it on the left side create a loop now let me zoom in on this for you so you can see what we got going on here so create a loop on the left take the cord around the back and then up through that loop straighten the buckle out tighten up the first one if you need to and then you can go ahead and tighten up the second one and that's about it you're really just going to keep doing the same thing over and over so I'm going to do the same thing on the right side so it goes left right left right left right so as you can see you taking your paracord going over the top take it around the back and then pull it through this loop and one easy way to tighten this is when you get to about here, if you use your finger on the back side and you hold this part of it, and use your thumb too, it'll kind of keep that, that loop there in place while you tighten it. And you want to pull these pretty tight, just so that you get a nice even, even look to everything. Do one more on the left, create that loop, take it around back, and pull it all through the loop. And you're, <clears throat> you're trying to pull it as tight as you can just to keep it nice and consistent. And I'll do a couple more here. Go to the right side, over the top, behind the back, and up through the loop. The smaller you can keep your loop over here, the easier it's going to be to work with. Because that's the, all the less uh, slack that you have to pull through. Here we go. And I'll do one more here. This is pretty easy. Um, it just takes a little time because it's you know, one pass. You're just going down a little, a little, a little. Um, so create the loop. Take it over the top. 
around the back, poke it through the hole, and pull all your excess through. All right, well, I am going to get this all done. Get it all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna come back, show you how to singe your ends, and then how to work with the fids to get your red your red laces going down the sides. Okay, so basically got this bracelet all finished, except for the red stitching, and I need to end this portion of the bracelet. So what I need to do here is I'm gonna do a Solomon knot at the end. I mean, you technically could end it here, but because these have little holes down the side, it, it, when you burn the end, they could slip through that hole. So I don't like to end it that way on these. Um, I like to do a Solomon, which is create a loop on the left, take your right side over that, go around the back and through. And you're gonna wanna do two of these so that you can get it nice and tight. Now do it on the right side, create your loop, take your left cord over, and then go under, and then through that loop. And pull that nice and tight. It doesn't affect the, the look of the bracelet a whole lot. And then grab my scissors and a lighter. the end here. Now with this being white, you really want to make sure that when you do this you're using the low part of your flame so that it doesn't turn black on you. Right when it starts to turn a little yellow, kind of like where it's at now, that's normally where I like to stop. And I use my scissors and just kind of rock that kind of in a circular motion and it makes it nice and smooth on there. Cools it down instantly too. And I started with about 12 feet. Um, I used about eight feet it looks like. Now I do have torch lighters I could use on this, but the torch lighter it burns too fast. It's good for anything other than the other than white, um, but I think it would actually turn the ends black. Which I'm trying to avoid. And there we go. That's that. All right, now onto the fids and the the red. Zoom out here a little bit for us. Now what I've done with this red already. I think I probably got quite a bit more than I needed. Um, I've already gutted this. And what I mean by gut it is here. I've got a piece here we can do this too. I'm just going to cut off a little section of this pink, pink color. And basically what I mean by gutting it is you just take take the, the inner threads completely out. So that leaves you with the inner threads here. And then you can discard those and it leaves you with this empty tube of paracord and what that does is it kind of helps you to thread it through here it doesn't stick out a lot what I've done then is I melted the ends here and kind of rolled them in my finger and thumb to get a kind of a point that will fit in the end of the fid here and then you just feed it into the fid which locks it right on so that's kind of like a um, a way to the, the threads lock it in there so it can't come out. And I'll just do that to the other side here. Okay, now I'm gonna flip over the bracelet and find the two holes. Zoom in on this first. As you can see, I have a, the first hole is here, and the second hole is here. So I'm going to start on both sides in the same spot, the top hole. So we'll just get that one going for a second, pull it about halfway through. We'll, we'll find the center point. We'll find the center point in just a second. 
All right, now take your other fid and go down through the top hole on that side. Which I think might be this one, yep. Okay. Now, grab your two fids and make sure that they're together. And then pull that through at the same speed. And what that does is that'll pull the paracord to the center point, which is now right there. So this is our center point. So that just means that we have equal lengths on the right and left side. So what I'm going to do here is all I'm going to do is go around the right side and go through every hole with the fit. So we got that one there. So we just go up through the next hole. And you're not crossing over to the other side. The right side stays on the right. The left side stays on the left. And you just want to pull that tight. There we go. Now if you have a twist in the paracord, make sure you get that twist out because it doesn't look too good when it's twisted in there. And then we go through the next hole. And when you do your bracelet, you'll, you'll notice the holes on the side. And it'll make more sense to you when you get to that point. See how I have that twist there? We're just going to twist it the opposite way. Go against that twist to get it out. And then pull it tight. Now when I say holes, you might be able to see it on here a lot better because it's black. But you've got all these holes down each side. Those are the ones that we're just kind of you know, going around to each one. And then through that hole. Grab my fid. Through this one. Get that one pulled tight. Alright, so I'm going to do the first four on each side just to kind of give you an idea of what this is supposed to look like. But at this point, it's, it's pretty easy to understand what we're going for. But at least I'll show you how to do it. So you're going to go from the back to the front with the fid and pull it through. You can kind of see now we have the white with the, the red stitching down the side, which I might have to get my, uh, I've got a Mickey Mantle Ted Williams baseball, uh, signed baseball. I might have to grab that and bring it in here and show you. All right, so we're going from the back, pulling that through. And then we'll do the same thing here. This is probably the faster part of the bracelet, getting this stitching done here along the side. I tied this really tight so that it was nice and consistent all the way throughout the bracelet. So it's just making it a little more difficult to get the uh, paracord through there. And I'll do one more here. And then I'm going to finish it up. And I'll be back to show you how to, to end the bracelet. Hopefully my time on this bracelet isn't going past 15 minutes. I try to keep it under where I can. But sometimes it does happen where I go over. Apologize for that. And I think I got... Oh, no, that was four. Okay, so I've got four on each side. You can kind of see the, the pattern we got going here. All right, well, let me finish this up, and I'll be back again. Let's see. Now, I just finished up the last lease of the uh, red right there. Um, so what I want to do is I need to figure out a way to finish this. So I think I'm just going to take this and go right through where I, um, where I melted the white one originally. Pull it through there, and then we're going to cut it at that point. Oops. Got the other one in there. Alright, there we go. So I think I'm going to end it right there. And then what I did with this one is I just kind of did a... Uh, I looped it through there and came up through the other piece of the red. Um, you can end it however you want. Uh, but that's how I did it. That, that was the best way I could 
think of for doing that. Cut that off. Just keep in mind when you uh, cut the ends off that don't have the paracord in the inside, it's a much smaller, um, it's a much smaller uh, melted point there instead of here you can kind of see you got the white one right next to it. It's a lot bigger footprint than the red one. Anyways, I've been talking too much on this video, so I'm gonna hurry up and get this one finished. <laughs> This bracelet definitely probably took the longest out of all the bracelets I've done. Just a lot of tedious little steps in there. But there you go. That is my interpretation of a baseball bracelet. Turned out pretty good. There's one spot here where I pulled the red through too tight. I really got it figured out on this side though. Almost all of them are pretty nice and uniform. But it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this for the first one. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget, please hit that subscribe button. And I um, want to remind you of the contest that I got going on. Uh, the giveaway, 300 feet, paracord, plus 20 buckles. What you have to do is find the March 2014 picture on the Board Paracord Facebook page. And just hit the share button on that picture. When you hit the share button... I get a notification and I'm creating a list of all the people that hit that share button. So please do that and get yourself entered. Thanks for watching and paracord on.